you guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Arlene. For any of you who are new here, finally back. I was traveling for a little bit. I'm actually leaving again this weekend and the next weekend. Um, but yeah, for today's video, I'm gonna be doing this look. It's a get ready with me. Um, it's trying a ton of new products that I got from BeautyCon, whether it was like the pre-parties or like an after party or whatever it was. Like there was just so many new products to try out. A few launches, like the Maybelline Shayla palette I tried out. Like just so many new things. And if you guys stick around to the very end, I am doing a massive, massive giveaway. And I'm gonna be giving one of you guys um, the majority of these products that you guys see throughout the video you guys will have the opportunity to win. So stick around to the end of the video to see the rules and um, see that. But yeah, let's not ramble on and let's jump into it. Okay, I have absolutely nothing on my face and I am so excited to try the Pharmacy Honey Drop. It's a lightweight moisturizer. I have seen the Pharmacy brand at Sephora and I've been wanting to try their products. I've been hearing a lot of good stuff about them. Whoa, <laughs> this opens up so cool. That is so cool. Oh my goodness. Comes in this cute little jar, and it even has a little, oh, magnetic little spatula thing. Okay, there's like these tiny little like, I don't know if it's like lemon beads or something. It doesn't smell great, but it doesn't smell bad. Put this all over. Mm. So yeah, the scent, not the biggest fan of it, but it's not bad. I just feel like it could be better, especially for the name. I don't know why I expected something like delicious. This does feel good. It feels like I just put like a bunch of water on my face. Let's let that sit in for a little bit. And yeah, I'm literally just in my like onesie pajamas. These are like the Christmas time ones. They're so comfy. I love wearing them around my house. I could feel that this is soaking in really well. Let's move on to a primer. This is the Revlon Youth FX Fill and Blur Primer for Face and Neck. So I did go to a Revlon party and this was in that goodie bag. Never tried this, obviously, right? Ooh, this is a little fancy bottle. Look at this fancy schmancy. Whoa, how does this work? Uh-huh. Just take off that little black thing and then what? Oh, so the little pump is like down here. Okay, this is so cool. Oh, there it is. You can see the product. Whoa. This feels like a very, whoa, very like silicone-y kind of feel. I don't know if I'm supposed to, whoa, blend it in with my fingers. Okay, right off the bat, I really feel like it filled in all my pores. Like, can you guys see that? This side, it looks so much like smoother and the pores are filled in and this side has all these tiny pores here. Okay, this is kind of crazy. I hope the camera's picking this up, yeah. Holy moly, it filled in those pores. Pores are looking good. Moving on to foundation. I don't have a new one to try. I'm just gonna use my Estee Lauder. But the Morphe sponge is absolutely new to me. I've heard so many good things about it. I did already wet it, and it does feel very, very similar to the Beauty Blender. I have not found a single sponge that like highly compares to it. I found some that are good enough and that are a good like affordable version, but this one I hear is very comparable, so. And it does feel like it. Let's try it out. So far, so good. Okay, first impression, I am loving it. I feel like it is very comparable. Um, I find that the difference with the Beauty Blender, I feel like it kind of just sinks right into your skin. This, I feel like you have to dab a little more for it to sink. Um, that's just like my first impression right off the bat, but I do also like all of the different like curves on it. I like how it has this like straight edge here. I feel like I'm gonna be able to get in with my concealer. So yeah, let's move on to concealer. For concealer, this is also new to me. This is the Revlon Youth FX Fill and Blur Concealer. So similar to the primer, let's see how this little bad boy works. There's a cute little sponge tip and then it looks like you just click, click, click. I am being so annoying again. All right, I'll be back later. Just gonna click away for a while. Oh, there it is, <laughs> okay. Oh yeah, this feels nice. Oh, and mine is in the color a light medium. Going quite heavy. Let's hope I'm okay. Let's hope this is fine. Oh yeah. Ooh, I am so digging this. Does that all look so smooth? This shade light medium is beyond perfect also. I am so pleased with this concealer. I honestly thought it was just gonna kind of smear and like not sink into my skin, but this sunk in so perfectly. Oh, 
I'm excited. And I'm gonna set that with the Charlotte Tilbury. Um, this is just the airbrush flawless finish. I've used this before, but this brush is new to me. It came in the little bag. I feel like this is good for contouring, but I'm just going to set right now. Oh no. I either spoke too soon about the concealer or I didn't set it quick enough. There's one tiny little fine line right here that's just like peeping through. No me gusta eso. I don't like that. Okay, this side's better because I fixed that little line before I set it. We're back to being good. I also set around my nose because that's where I get so sweaty is like this mustache area. It's looking pretty flawless. Ooh. And to also set the rest of my face, I'm just using my Makeup Forever Pro Finish Foundation. I've used this for ages. I don't have a new foundation powder to set. Actually, I'm gonna use this brush. I'm also gonna bronze up with the Becca uh, Caprico Sunlit Bronzer. This is a tried and true and a favorite of mine. I'm also gonna do a little bit of Kat Von D blush. Okay, for highlighter, this is completely new to me. This is J-Cat Beauty. You Glow Girl in the color Twilight. I did swatch it when I was there and I was like, holy moly, it was like insanely pigmented. So let's try this. Look at this glow and the swirliness. And I am taking a Morphe M501, so it's super lightweight. Oh yeah. This is with absolutely nothing on the brush or on my face, like nothing is wet. A lot of times I'll use my primer water first so that the highlighter like sticks like crazy. I'm going to highlight the top of my brow. I am living for this highlight. My face looks like it's wet. <laughs> okay, I obviously went a little crazy. That's okay, that's okay. Let's move on to the eyes. This is also new. This is the Wonder 2 Prime and Behold Professional Primer. I've tried the Wonder Brows. It's like supposed to keep your brows on for days and it did uh, like surprisingly work, although it just kind of made your um, eyebrows kind of sticky and tacky. So didn't really like that too much, but I did like that it made your eyebrows stay all day. So apparently, oh, oh. Yeah, the, so the girl at the counter told us that if you put this on, it almost gives you like a metallic look. So I don't know how this is gonna work with matte eyeshadows. I do plan on doing um, some sort of like shimmery or like bright color on the lid. So hopefully this works out. Oh yeah, oh my gosh. Like I totally see the, do you see how it's like kind of purplish? I see the metallicness and the foiledness of this. Supposed to make your eyeshadows Pop. Maybe I should have only put this like on the lid area. Okay, for my eyes, I'm gonna be trying out the Ardell Pro Eyeshadow Palette. This is just the matte color. So I'm just gonna use this like on the outer corner and then kind of like on my brow bone. I love Ardell lashes. Let's see how these shadows work. Not going for a fully matte look today, but it does. These colors look stunning. Look at this. You love a matte eyeshadow look? I hope these shadows work out. We're gonna start with this shade right here, smack dab in the middle. So far, so good. I almost wish I did not use that primer underneath because, okay, it's getting covered up now, but you can still see it on my brow bone. Easy to blend, a little more on the powdery side. So that's just the very first transition shade right under that. I'm gonna go with this mauve color here. Let's go for a mauve eye today. Ooh, I like that, I like that. Definitely a little bit went a long way. Like, I just looked inside this Maybelline by Shayla little gift bag and there's this Super pretty like gold flower in here. Oh, I'm gonna put this behind me. Continuing with the eyes, I wanna try a different product. Also, this is the Maybelline City Mini Palette by Shayla, so it's their collaboration. It's just this tiny little guy. It's really, honestly like, it's, it's pretty small, but there are a few colors in here that look like I will die for them. Both of these gold shades, that um, dark, dark burgundy color. Oh, okay. I'm gonna go in with that gold color. This is literally what I wear on my lid like every day. And I am gonna spray it with some Smashbox primer water just because this is what I always do. Taking the little gold shade right here. Oh yeah. This is like the perfect bronzy gold color. I am living for this color. Like 
I did not think I was gonna like this color that much. I feel like I'm gonna have to bring this with me everywhere now just for that color. Then actually in the very middle, I'm gonna do a little bit of a halo. This is kind of my, one of my little tricks is I always love brightening like the middle of my eye. I feel like it makes like such a pop in a statement and you don't even realize that it's a different color. So I feel like this color might do that for me. So it's this like super true gold, almost like a champagne -y gold. Put that right in the middle. So do you see, it's just a slight difference. I'm also gonna put some here and here. Oh my gosh, you guys. <laughs> Cannot wait to smoke out the outer edges with this dark burgundy color on here. That's this one right here. Oh yeah. I'm also gonna bring it in a little. And you could see I have some fallout right here. So these are a little more powdery also, at least this color is. Nothing you wouldn't expect from like an affordable drugstore palette. I'm actually gonna go back in with a tiny more of the true champagne -y gold, just because I lost a little bit of it when I was doing the dark shade. Then under my eyes, I'm gonna go in with this shade once again. We're gonna, whoa, a little bit of fallout there. We're gonna smoke this out. We are looking smoky. Literally, like I am putting this in the love pile. For my waterline, I'm gonna use the Revlon Color Stay in the black color. I feel like I've used this in the past. Uh, my current favorite is the It Cosmetics No Tug um, Water Gel Liner. I've been obsessed with that, but let's try one out that I either haven't tried in a while or is new to me. I don't recall. I'm also just gonna do my everyday Sephora wing liner. For mascara, I'm just using the It Cosmetics Superhero. I have been loving this also. I do have lash extensions and I need to fill so bad or I don't know if I'm just gonna let them fall off. I'm just gonna put a little bit of mascara on them because they do have some fallout so you can see all the white on them. While the mascara dries up, I'm going to use a Morphe Micro Brow Pencil. This is in the color Cinnamon. I'm hoping it matches. It was just what was in all the goodie bags, but it looks like it would be my color, right? Cinnamon, it's like a dark brown. Eh. It has like a reddish undertone. Actually, once I apply it, it looks a little better. It does still have like a reddish undertone, I guess, hence the name Cinnamon. Surprisingly, I'm kinda liking the formula. Right now when I was swatching it on my hand, it felt really rough, but when you put it on your brows, it like, <sighs> Might be a little too red. Um, I'm gonna do the same on the other side just because I already started, but I'm gonna go over with my Anastasia pencil. As far as the formula though, it's more on the drier side, that's for sure. But it also doesn't feel like it's gonna like slide and move around and it wasn't super rough. I'm going over that with the Makeup Forever Brow Gel. For lips, I'm gonna use this Revlon. It's a Street Chic um, number 44 Bare Affair. This color looks beautiful. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. This literally kind of feels like my YSL nude lipstick that I got recently. Super creamy but super pigmented. This lip color looks beyond perfect except I really want to try the Morphe liquid lipstick because I've never tried them and it looks like it'll be really pretty. It's the color or the shade Unsettled. Ooh, I think I'll regret this. this I think this is too pink. Wait, let's swatch it. Actually, that's a really pretty pink. I feel like I'm going for it apparently. Okay, these two shades together actually go really well. Total random combo. Just gonna quickly throw on these Morphe lashes because my lashes right now are just doing crazy things. So these are in the style Posh. So yeah, that completes everything for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I know it was super long. Um, for those of you who stuck around and wanna see the giveaway portion, um, this is going to be quite huge. Um, the rules are going to be extremely simple. They will be listed down below also if you guys get confused, but all you have to do is be subscribed to my channel. I obviously want to give this to one of my subscribers. Uh, follow me on Twitter and Instagram, and if you guys want to, meet, want to follow me on Snapchat also. Um, not everything that you guys saw in the video will be included just because I only got um, one of those things and I obviously used it so it's mine but I did get doubles of a lot of those things and those things will be in the giveaway and that is a lot of the things that you guys did see along with a lot of things that you guys didn't see like their skincare there's so many things um, even like this Morphe bag with the Morphe 350 palette will be in there like there's seriously so many things 
that I didn't use in the video just because like there's no way I can use every single one of the products. I'm so excited to be able to give this to one of you guys because I'm like beyond stoked to try out all these products. Like I can only imagine how excited one of you guys will be, especially for like back to school. Like imagine having all of this new stuff for back to school. Um, I just think it's exciting. So I hope you guys like it and enjoy it. And I will leave this open for, I'm going to say three weeks. So yeah. Three weeks, check back. I will either announce it on my Instagram or Twitter, one of my social media accounts, and I will also leave the winner in the description box of this video down below so you guys um, could come back then and then see who the winner is. It will be there down below. But yeah, that's it. Good luck to all of you guys. It is open internationally, so yeah, I can't wait for you guys to get this huge, huge goodie bag. Shipping's probably gonna be so expensive, but it's gonna be so worth it. Um, but yeah, that's it. I love you guys, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.